for a coffee maker because my other one bit the dust. So now, which one to get? Hi, sorry for the random clips. I'm just taking you along as I go along. Um, I'm over here with a friend of mine from work and we're doing some social distancing, having an early dinner, and we're gonna have some Thai food. Ate the whole thing without sharing with you. So I have here what's called a volcano roll. And then over here I have two salmon roe sushi pieces. Oh, and also my gigantic Thai iced tea. It's so delicious. Today is a really weird day. It is 75 degrees, torrential downpour, high humidity, but it's really funny because when it rains, it feels cool. So I wasn't sure how to dress for the day. I just decided I'm, I'm wearing my favorite t-shirt. I really, really like this t-shirt. I'm thinking about getting it Again, a duplicate so that this way I don't have to worry about over wearing it and wearing it out. Anyway, I wanted to tell you that the reason that I'm wearing this linen blazer is because I figured it would help to keep me warm where I would otherwise feel chilly and yet still be breathable enough so that I'm not dying in this humidity. Right now, I'm here at CVS because since I found the toothbrushes at Bed Bath & Beyond for $19.99 and then I used my $10 coupon and got them for $32 and change after taxes. When one of these comes to $35 and change, I am going to return these right now and then I'll take you on a boring day of errands with me. My passenger of the day is my Evelyn TPM. I had toyed with the idea of possibly wearing the Louis Vuitton double zip pochette. When I saw it raining today, I thought to myself, this is perfect weather. I can wear my linen blazer, my striped t-shirt. You know, this was the nautical vibe that I had envisioned. When I unboxed it, it was just a hot mess. Such a hot mess. I mean, I took a picture of myself wearing the bag with this outfit just because I mean, because this was the vibe I was going for, basically. You know, I'm on the fence. I'm more on the fence leaning to either exchanging it or just returning it altogether. I haven't made up my mind yet. I'm just really disheartened by the quality of these high-end luxury brands when they just have gone through a price increase. You do not pack your goods in that manner when you've just gone through a price increase. I'm bringing you right now with me to go get some Starbucks because I could use some caffeine. I don't, that just came out of nowhere. <laughs> I'm just, I don't know, my thoughts are just, woo. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I got $75 back from CVS plus I had used a coupon, so they gave me a $1.92 rewards coupon back. I didn't even know that they did that. I thought that's fantastic. Oh, I'm looking at an outdoor seating uh, situation for this, for this pizzeria and the wind and the rain, they're just making it so difficult for them to keep their tents up for the outdoor seating. Oh. I feel terrible for all these businesses. You know, how are people gonna continue with their livelihood? Okay, so yet another outfit that I would have loved to have worn, the double zip pochette. A lot of people are telling me that I should return it and I've been keeping it in the box wrapped in a certain way. I just wanna know what you think from this angle you can see the way I've had it stored in the box for the past two days. It almost looks like nothing ever happened. Although, all right, now you can see that this one is more perfect. This is the blue one. It was the red one that came bent. You know, this was made in 2019, the 50th week, which is, I find that strange that in May, let's see if I could find the date code. Hold on. Okay, so here is the date code. And I'm wondering if it's strange that in May, 
I realize I keep saying May and it's not May. I purchased this in July, July 2nd. If you look at the last vlog, you'll see the date on the receipt. Quarantine brain. A lot of people are recommending that I return it because they think maybe this could have been a floor model or it could have been a return. I have such apprehension because here's the bigger picture. In May, that's where I'm getting May from. In May, I made a purchase and I had to go with a bunch of back and forth exchanging. It was just such a headache that all my energy just feels completely depleted to have to go through this again with yet another luxury brand. And all I wanted to do <laughs> was uplift my spirit during this miserable time and it's been just a complete fail. Coach hasn't let me down. <laughs> I, all my bags have come perfect. <sighs> Even the packaging has come perfect. So this is why I have such hesitation. But isn't it strange that we're seven months into a new year and I have a bag that's date coded for the 50th week of 2019? find that strange. Is that strange? Is that normal? I'm not sure. And under normal conditions, is that normal? My passenger of the day is my Evelyn TPM again. I am dropping this off at UPS. I picked this up from Amazon thinking that it was going to be spectacular. And I can't lie also because it looks like a Dyson. And the spouts on this looked quite promising plus the diffuser for my naturally curly hair, but this was an absolute fail. Flip, flop, fail. I would never show you anything unless it was by accident, a product that I do not wholeheartedly believe in. I, when I bought the Revlon brush dryer thing, for me, it damaged my hair. And that is why I would never in a million years show you the review on that although it worked amazingly in the beginning it worked well for two weeks and then after two weeks my hair was fried so my little cheap hair dryer that i bought two years ago from tj maxx still going strong i paid 18.99 it's a t3 i don't know if it's comparable to the t3 that you would pick up in let's say sephora but i will tell you this much it gets the job done and it does it well so this is going back. Amazon luckily had that. All I show is the QR code and then they handle it from there. Hi, um, can I please have an iced decaf? Uh, a, a size large. Large iced decaf? Yeah, uh, macchiato. Oh, macchiato, okay. Uh-huh. Um, that's like with the caramel and whipped cream, right? You want caramel, okay? Yes, please. You want cream? Uh, sure, that'll be, that'll, actually, no, I'm so sorry. Um, can we, can we make it with almond milk? Oh, sure, okay. I appreciate it. Anything else? That'll be all. Pick for you, thanks. All right, thank you so much. No on a regular day, I would get Starbucks, but it's not, it's not on my way, so I can't be bothered. So did I mention we're going to Ulta, or did I not mention? Either way we're going it's because i saw this advertisement on instagram it was kim kardashian chloe kardashian something about a makeup setting spray that has spf in it and i went a little bit crazy with the uh did i mention i don't even know what i said i went a little bit crazy with my retinol and i ended up being directly in the sun the day after i did this retinol so Yes, I need this spray, and then there's something else that I want. Oh, Technique, Real Technique Makeup Brush. Do you know where I could find, I'm looking for a Kula SPF makeup setting for, Oh, I cannot, <laughs> thank you, thank you, holy cow. I know that Ulta has their version. Hmm. This is why I always go for the most expensive stuff. I'm easily gonna spend $100 today. Feel it in my bones. Oh, look at this, Dry Bar makes one too. I wonder if it damages the hair. And they're also $150. Huh. Real techniques. This is what I'm looking for right here. 
This is exactly the set I was looking for. This fluffy brush is the actual best fluffy brush. This is a good one too, but let me see. Excuse me? Yeah. Sorry, can I ask a question? Um, there's a, a tester for a face self tanner. I want to use it, but I want to make sure like I'm, I'm safe when I... So we actually, yeah. our testers are at the display only right now. Okay. Show me where it was. Sure. In the back. There aren't like, this might have just been like an oversight, but we actually don't have any testers out for any of these. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, we have no testers out for anything. Right okay. Now, including makeup just for like safety precautions. No, no, that's fine. I just wanted to know, so if, for example, like if I purchase, if I don't like it, what's your return policy? 180 days, as long as three-fourths of it is still oh, cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can try it, and if it does not work for you, you Fantastic. Can I wanted to show you really quickly that I picked up this. I shouldn't have bought this because I'm really waiting for the Ulta one to to come in i don't i shouldn't have done this but this i'm glad i did this is an spf it is a bb cream organic it's in the color golden and it is vegan it's gm non-gmo farm to face and water resistant so this gives me the impression that water resistance is going to last a long time so, uh, it's a moisturizer a tinted moisturizer so this then I picked up, I almost got the San Tropez because um, I've seen Lydia use the face tanner. So now uh, I see that Ulta Beauty has their own version of a face mist, Bronze Glow, and I'm going to try it right now because I know that people spray face bronzer over their makeup and they still get results. So let's see. Oh, let's see if... I get good results from this. This is kind of spooky. Okay. I like to go on the parameters, like. Oh, I got it on my arm. Shh. Watch. That was dumb. That was dumb and I don't have a napkin. Okay, I'm gonna have to use this. Do I have a napkin? I thought I had a napkin. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ah! I have a napkin. Okay. All right, so I sprayed the back of my hand a little bit, and now I gotta do the other side because that's the Libra in me. Okay, here we go. Let me just. <laughs> now I feel like it. do this. I'm trying to just get like parameters and you know. <laughs> so stupid. Whatever. Okay, it doesn't smell bad. Let me just try to get my back. I hope I don't ruin my clothes with this. Oh, this gives off a good sprite. Yowza! And I keep only tanning The one hand. I didn't exfoliate first, so I don't even know. <sighs> Why has it gotta be so stressful? Why? Because I have to do it in the car. H&M was closed, but it wasn't a total fail because I went into Nordstrom and I got two really pretty dresses for my niece. Uh, she turned six, and even though we have money in the card for her and all that, <sighs> still wanted to give her something because the party was before and today's her actual birthday. So yeah, going into the mall to return was a complete other than the two dresses that I got for my niece.